Well, hello and welcome to the Spirit Safe. My name's Rob. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. Last time we had a Brock Laddie, one that I had um, improved somewhat by putting it in a different cast. This time we have another Brock Laddie. And this will be about eight, seven or eight Brock Laddies I've done on the channel. I've always been a fan of theirs. Uh, this is uh, and one that you can't usually get on the shelves, certainly not. Uh, in government stores in Canada is the Port Charlotte 12 year old Olenach Fur Kyle. Uh, Olenach, I'm sure, is is reasonably fair pronunciation of the first word Fur Kyle. I'm not sure about, but Olenach Fur Kyle. It means attentive student. Uh, and it was uh, produced, it's a cast strength bottling. It was produced in homage to. Um, at the time, he was the apprentice, uh, Adam Hannett, who's now the, the master distiller at um, Port Sh at, at um, Brockladdy. Heavily peated, uh, bottled at 58.7% uh, ABV. It is natural colour, non-chill filtered, as all Brockladdy's are. And long may that remain. It's in the old uh, Port Charlotte packaging, this dumpy uh, bottle that you can see through, and I prefer that to the to the new design of barrelish um, green bottles for the uh, for the port shot. I really like this. I like how there's loads of illegible uh, information on it in really tiny font. Um, picture of Adam Hannes himself on the on the can there. And again, just loads of information on there. I bought this at a private store in Vancouver, paid maybe $135 to $150 Canadian plus tax. Um, I hadn't seen it before. When I saw it, I thought, okay, you know, 12 year old, peated, Brock Laddie, um, cast strength. Uh, it's it's actually a travel retail exclusive, but it's sort of bred, in, uh, it's found its way into a couple of, um, into a couple of uh, private stores in, uh, in Canada, in BC at least, I don't know about elsewhere. So, let's see what we have. And immediately, I don't have to go too far before I detect that peat. That's a real smoky bacon, smoked wood, uh, peat, maple smoke, hint of chipotle. But unfortunately, um, the the smoke signature on this started out as actually a bit awkward. It was a bit of the burnt electric motor, overheating electric motor or electrical fault smell. So it was very off and I was disappointed with it when I first opened it, but that's now left and we've, we're dealing with uh, a fragrant wood smoke, maple smoked, um, glazed ham, um, uh, smoky bacon note into the old throat lozenges the whole the halls um throat lo lozenges you can tell it's slightly drying in the nostrils salty a cherry menthol note there too smoked salmon most definitely coastal notes coming through wet wet rocks barnacles rock pool type coastal notes I think this is a really good example of the um, of the coastal character of Brock Laddie. Bay leaves are soft. There was an offish Greek note, Greek uh, yogurt sourness to it, which has gone now. But it's still got a little grape must, uh, kind of active um, uh, brewer's yeast type note to it which is which is now pleasant it was it was a little awkward to begin with tanned leather maybe a vinyl note um, honey tobacco and very strong notes of salmiac which is uh, ammonium chloride and it's used to flavor a uh, very strong love it or hate it um, salty licorice from uh, Scandinavia more Scandinavia than the low countries, but yeah, Northern Europe, really. Most countries absolutely hate, most people hate the taste of it. I really like it. Uh, there's a candy called Turkish Pebe or Turkish Pfeffer in Germany, uh, which is which has got a lot of salmiac in it. So if you want to try um, 
the um, the salted licorice, then Turkish paver is a good uh, hard candy to start with. There's menthol. There was a slight barnyard note that's gone now as well. That sort of came as part and parcel of the Greek yogurt offish note. Later, there's some milk chocolate, charcoal, malt extract, and soda bread. Palette is very salty. Hint of fruit starting to come through, but it never gets to a syrupy note. Tobacco, that salmiac salted licorice, to me very vivid, and I do eat quite a lot of salty licorice, including that that's got the salmiac, the ammonium chloride in it. Medicinal peat, very, very strong on the palate. Alcohol note, of course, you know, pushing up to 60% ABV, as you would expect, but it's accommodating, it's... it's uh, it's not rough or anything. Uh, oak, juicy cherries, preserved fruits. So not a fresh or syrupy fruit, but a kind of dried fruit. And a carbolic note also on the palate. Very, very salty, this one. I'll give it a tot of water. I'm going to give it two... Two full teaspoons there, because it will take a bit of water, given that it's nearly 60%. And broccolatis generally, uh, they do respond to a bit of water. Hmm, a lot more smoky. Now the oak is starting to make itself known. Chocolatey. I wrote down here motor oil. Um, yeah, I get a bit of that. Toasted sesame seeds or sesame snaps, poppy seeds, hickory smoke, almond skins. Malt extract. I said barley sugar, but really it's just more menthol actually than, than, than sweet. The coastal notes still popping out. Smoke and dried fruit that never quite gets juicy. So more currants than raisins. It's like wafer, ice cream wafer note. Gosh. Lots and lots of salmiac, but with a sweet malt extract. Malted milk biscuits, chocolate. Slightly sour and salty in the finish. But much, much more chocolatey. Hmm. Finish, very salty. Um, a chewy peat lingers on the finish. Medicinal peat, smoky and milky. The salmiac still making its way itself known. Seawater and rock pool notes continue. Uh, and a red Thai chili as well. The maltiness. Hmm. Really not bad. But I think it's well worth uh, comparing it with the Port Charlotte 10. Uh, which I've reviewed on the channel. But I kept a small sample of it um, so I could compare it to this one because I actually got the the 12 the the Olenach for a Carl, um, before I got the Port Charlotte 10 I've been keeping it for a while uh, for the purposes of comparison hmm Struggling to get quite as much from this as I am the 
Port Charlotte 12, which surprises me. I know this is much higher ABV. Smoked salmon. This is much lighter than the 10 year old, but it's got less punch, it's less sweet. I don't get as much of the of the salted licorice, although there is a little bit. A bit more savoury, the 10, I think. Hmm. Starting to open up a bit more now. Yeah, it's coastal, it's peaty, sweet vanilla note that I think is absent from the 12. Much more barley sugar on the 10 than the 12. 12 still packs more of a punch than the 10, even though I've uh, added two two um, teaspoonfuls of water to it. This still magnified. The, the flavor is magnified in the 12. Twelve richer, saltier. Yeah, both are good. The twelve, if you see it, I'd say, and if, and if you see it for a sensible price, don't go silly. Um, but it's well worth picking up if you like that really intense um, coastal note. People who enjoy, people like me who are weird, who enjoy um, salty licorice, I think. The 12 would be really nice. I'd really like to hear from somebody actually who um, who enjoys salty licorice who's maybe tried the um, the Port Charlotte 12. Um, just to see if I'm going mad, but I, I do drink a lot of, uh, I, I do eat a lot of salty licorice and I do pick up a lot here. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the review. Little bit of a comparison. Um, but I'm not not very good at the at the uh, at the comparison stuff. I tend to enjoy things on their own terms, um, but it's fun occasionally to do it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the review. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you've um, tried this one yourself. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye bye.